You can kind of tell based just on this little part here, this is gonna be one of those like heavy science passages. Doesn't mean it's hard, just means that we gotta like turn off the part of our brain that cares about understanding everything we read. Let's just see what they want from us, right? So we need to complete the assertion. Let's read the paragraph first before we start diving into this, uh, this graph. To investigate the influence of certain estrogen responsive neurons on energy expenditure, biologist Stephanie Correa et al. treated female and male mice with either saline solution, solution or clozapine N4 oxide, CNO, which activates the neurons. Okay, so you got male versus female, saline versus CNO. So that's all I get out of that. And that kind of is shown in the, in the legend there as well in the chart. Um, monitoring the activity levels of the mice by measuring how frequently the animals broke infrared beams crossing their enclosures, Korea et al. found that the mice in their study showed sex-specific differences, right? So uh, in response to neuron activation, um, so the CNO, so CNO is going to lead to male versus female, right? That's kind of my dumb summary, right? So the CNO is important because they're activating the neurons. Now notice neuron activation is code for CNO because it says here, which activates the neurons. So this is a classic SAT move, right? This is why we're not supposed to focus on nouns when we're focusing on strong words because it's the nouns are gonna change. They're gonna use different words and we're gonna get really attached to certain nouns. And then if we don't see them, we're like, oh, it doesn't matter. But they're using, C they're talking about CNO without using the letter CNO, okay? The sex specific thing, I think most people are gonna notice, but male versus female. So let's look at the choices, see if anything kind of hits this dumb summary and, and we'll go from there. That's my dumb summary. So A, the four groups of mice differed greatly in their activity levels before treatment, but showed identical activity levels at the end of the monitoring period. So I don't even really need to read this. Identical activity levels. It's supposed to be about the changes in the, in the sexes. There's sex specific differences. If they're the same, that's not a difference. So let's just give her to A. B, saline treated females showed substantially more activity at certain points in the monitoring period than saline treated males did. Again, uh, this is CNO. It's got to be about CNO. This is not about CNO. So let's get rid of this. This is about females versus males. So um, it's it's getting closer, but it's missing that that key idea that we need to um, have the CNO be involved. So if we didn't see that from the from the paragraph, we might have been a little more tempted by B. CNO. Since choice C, CNO treated females showed more activity relative to saline treated females than CNO treated males showed relative to saline treated males. Okay, so got all the pieces in here. So the females, this is saying um, females more than males. So let's see if that's true. So the females with saline are kind of down here buried. I can see that little triangle. Um, oh, well, let's, do, let's do females with CNO. So females with CNO is here and uh, females, males with CNO is the circle. So it does seem like the females are all going up here, doing all sorts of things. They're doing the beam breaks and whatever. Uh, so that seems to be true. Um, and it, they're both of the CNO ones are higher than both of the saline ones. So I think that's checking everything off, right? So CNO treated females showed more activity relative to saline treated females. That's true. Um, then CNO treated males showed relative to saline treated males. So again, yeah, the, the females are higher with the CNO thing. But let, let, let's just look at D. Let's see what this says. CNO treated females showed a substantial increase and then decline in activity over the monitoring period, whereas CNO treated males showed a substantial decline in activity followed by a steep increase. So I don't see that steep increase, right? So this part right here, a substantial decline followed by a steep increase for the males. That's the circle, right? Circle. Uh, I see... Uh, is this the decline just right there and then should have been a decline followed by a steep increase well where's the increase i don't even know i don't even know what this is talking about this just seems false right this just does not seem true so maybe it's talking about a sex difference but it seems inaccurate so i'd be good with c here so maybe i did a little bit more proof of c than i should have i should have just said yep the female line is like all up there and the male line is a little lower seems like a difference and then yeah they're both higher than the saline ones so good enough for now let's not worry about it and then there you go the other two choices the a and b are just totally wrong don't even match with what we were supposed to be looking for anyway and then they usually on a hard question will throw in a, a choice like d that uses the right words 
but doesn't quite capture what's going on. Usually it's just inaccurate based on the graph or chart. So we're testing two things with most of these hard questions. We're testing the accuracy of the choices, but also that kind of summary aspect. What is it that they're looking for? What is the relationship that they want us to focus on? There might be multiple things that we could uh, conclude based on the graph, but there's only one conclusion that the passage wants us to have. So make sure you read those passages first. They give us a lot of information about what to look for.